Hey everyone, I'm Leah with Leah Noel Design Co. And today I am showing you how to do a Southwestern themed um, paint finish on your furniture. So let's get started. So I am using Dixie, Dixie Belle colors today. I'm using Mermaid Tail, Sandbar, Buttercream, Colonel Mustard, Honky Tonk Red, and Kuzu. So basically what I've done here is I just applied one coat of Sandbar. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to apply another coat of sandbar on here. I don't want my paint to be too thick. I just kind of want to get it um, some coverage and get it wet. So that's kind of why I'm spreading it over here. All my extra. I want to kind of clean my brush. Um, I want to clean most of the paint color off my brush before I go into the next one. The next color is Mermaid Tail. And so I'm just going to get a, a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to start over here and I'm just going to layer it on. And then I'm going to kind of spray my piece. Um, and I'm going to Go ahead and make sure it's all the way across. And just kind of blend the, the teal and the sandbar together, roughly. So I'm gonna get like variations in color like this. And that's kind of how I want my, um, my colors to blend, is all in a straight line. I'm not really trying to like blend them out. I'm just kind of trying to get them to run together a little smoother. All right, we're pretty smooth here. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the color um, Colonel Mustard and I have, I'm using, um, this is my favorite paintbrush. This is from Paint Pixie, it's the one penny flat round. Um, they have, I think, four sizes and they're all going coins. Or this is, I'm sorry, is this the penny or the dime? I don't know, it's the smallest one. I'm gonna dip my brush, grab this. I'm gonna dip my brush slightly in the kernel mustard and I'm kinda just gonna give a variation of yellow here and here, so it's a cross pattern. And I'm gonna spray my, right where it's gonna go first. And I'm just gonna kinda drag my brush down just to give it a touch of yellow. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here. The yellow really helps bring that teal out. Okay, that's done. At this point, you can kind of let this dry or I'm gonna go right in. I'm gonna layer all the colors that you guys see here. I'm gonna slightly, um, not slightly, I'm just gonna layer them with my paintbrush. So I'm gonna start with like, let's say teal. And I'm just gonna kinda like give my brush, just gonna brush it randomly on. I'm only trying to really do my raised part here. Okay, so it looks bad, but it's gonna look better. We're gonna go in with Colonel Mustard. I'm gonna go in with um, Kudzu, and this is a green. I kinda wanna hit all the, the parts that I haven't hit yet. And it's okay if those colors start colliding together. You don't wanna totally blend them, but you do want them to like have a good movement between colors. We're gonna go in with a little more of the green. The green has to be there, but I want to see the least amount of it. The green creates a little balance. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a little bit more teal, and we're just kind of layering these colors up. And now I'm gonna go in with yellow, and then I'm gonna go in with the red. The reason I'm doing yellow before red is so I get a little bit of an orange tone. With this look, I don't wanna use any orange paint. I want my paint to create orange. That's kind of what gives it that warm feel. 
is the blending of the two colors opposed to actually like using the orange color. I find it's easier to get an authentic look that way. It's like the colors actually faded together on your furniture. Then we're gonna go straight in with the red. This is Honky Tonk Red. And this is what's gonna really make the difference, the red and the white. So now I'm really just trying to like blend my colors without letting the red overpower them. Hard, <laughs> it's a little hard. If this is, um, if you want, you can always, if you don't want your colors to blend as much, you can always let it dry in between. At this point, I'm going to wipe my brush off. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to grab a baby wipe. And we're going to go in with um, buttercream, which is like a warm, whitish yellow color. And that is where we're going to start really feeling like we are in... New Mexico. Okay. We're going to stop here. And um, we're going to let this dry and then we will go to our next. Hey guys, so we're back. And we are at the point where we are distressing this um, cabinet. And I distressed a lot of it. And what I've been using to distress this is my Orbit sander or palm sander with 220 paper. Um, and I kind of like, this is very stripey. I don't like it being too stripey. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some white wax, okay? I'm gonna add um, just a little bit of white wax. This is Dixie Bell white wax. It is water-based. I always think it's important to say that. I don't know why. Uh, Cause it really doesn't matter with what we're doing. But anyway, um, I'm just going to go ahead and put it on the ends here and I probably put too much right here, which is fine. I'll just wipe it back and I don't have any clear wax or anything under it. I'm just going to go ahead and apply it. What I'm doing is I'm just trying to create a little bit of, um, just like a waxy medium. So then when I sand over it, it's almost going to make it look muddy and more worn. And we're kind of just gonna like blend our paint colors with the sander. So you can see white wax applied. I'm gonna buff it off, but you know, some of it's gonna stay. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my sander. 220 um, is, 220 is the lightest sandpaper there is. Um, I have a bag of used sandpaper here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use some used sandpaper. Well, that one looks like it's been stained though. Um, I only really use new sandpaper when it's a new project or um, it's like clean white. This doesn't matter if it's a little bit dirty because that's actually what we're going for. We want it to be a little dirty. But this sandpaper looks pretty clean. Okay, it's 220. I probably use this to like sand down between a coat of lacquer or something. I don't know. So I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna start with my Orbit sander on here. You don't ever wanna start your sander and then go in because that's when you cut your wood, you split your wood, you make mistakes. So you wanna start with it on. And then when you're done, instead of turning it off, you wanna lift it off and take it off. So we're gonna do that now. That's it. Um, I actually applied quite a bit of pressure right here, I took it to the bare wood, here, here. It's kind of what we want. I actually want to get a little bit right here. That's good. So we're distressed. That's it, that's all we're gonna do. Um, and then I will add clear wax, white wax, and I will blend it all together. Um, and it just looks so much better sanded, doesn't it? And I will show you guys the whole piece when it's all done. So I have um, finished painting this. Uh, I did my stripes 
no more than what you see right here, um, or no more than I did in the video already, and I heavily distressed this uh, with an Orbit sander. I used my Black & Decker Orbit sander, and I also used uh, this mouse sander just to get into some of these like crevices. So now I'm going through and I'm going to age this piece. I'm going to make it look even older and southwestern. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to use brown wax and I'm going to use uh, white wax possibly. And these are um, these are both Pixie Bell waxes. I've already got a clear coat of wax on here. And I also have a couple um, artist brushes. So I'm just going to kind of dig into my brown wax a little bit. And we're going to see how the color looks. And I kind of just want to shadow this edge. So you can see we have wax on. I'm going to take it off. And it kind of looks dirty, right? And if we want to, we can just take it off with um, clear wax if we don't like it. We can use clear wax as an eraser because we have uh, wax on the under layer. This is really pretty. Um, this is bird's eye maple underneath, and so it's showing through. It's always nice when you can have a little wood peeking through um, with your style, especially when the wood's pretty. I would say, that's about the only wood that was really pretty on this piece. So we're just tracing our outline. Wax on. Wax off. Just like that. And then I'm going to go through and I'm going to age some of the spots right here, like on the actual um, crest. And it's just going to kind of deepen the color a little. And we're gonna go in with a little white wax, just kind of in through here, just to kind of bring a little color out. This color here, if you remember, it looked really weird when we put it on, but now it's kind of making sense. Um, I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna use the white wax with my towel And there you have it. That's about all I'm going to do. I'm going to age my corners a little bit. All right. And there you have it. That is um, the Southwestern cabinet door. Hey guys, I thought you might like to see me do the top of this buffet. So I already started, I have one coat of Boss on here uh, from Dixie Belle. I'm using Mermaid Tail from Dixie Belle. And I'm gonna do a little blending. I'm using the Dusty Brush from Paint Pixie, which is my favorite. I started with my brush wet and that's really not important to do. Um, it, it's, I don't think it's important. I, I will miss it. It's kind of soaking wet, more wet than I want it to be. Um, so it really doesn't matter. It's just it's clean. So I'm just gonna kind of use the extra paint. I'm spraying water for movement. Now I'm gonna go in with uh, sandbar. And I'm also gonna go in with um, buttercream. More sandbar. I 
I'm gonna wipe my brush. I want my paint pixie um, French round for this. I'm gonna just heavily distress this. So I almost wanna leave a little wood showing on the edge here. We're gonna let that dry for about an hour. I'm gonna come back and distress it, and then I'll seal it with um, clear satin and then Gatorade.